Well, good morning, guys. How are you? Let me just sip a little bit. No, oh, Smokey Joe is out there. I swear that woman, if you're new here, there's this neighbor lady who like chronically smokes outside of my uh, window and like when I come over by the window, she like smiles at me. I feel like we should be friends, but like I'm gonna reach out. <laughs> um, anyways, it's, it's super hot out today, so I have some meetings a little bit later, but Anyways, skincare update wise, I've been wearing this Dr. Jarrett's BB cream that the Beauty Sush folks gave me. But one of the things that I noticed with this is that throughout the day, it started rolling up and peeling up like you guys always ask me about. It, that's annoying because it looked like I had, you know, peeling skin throughout the day. Like um, I had it, you know, here, like it was just flaking all off and it was like, what's wrong with, what's wrong with her face kind of thing. So that wasn't good. I mean, when it's peeling off, it's like no longer a barrier and I don't, I think it had anything to do with the Biore watery um, sunscreen base that I had put on because I um, tried it a few times with some other sunscreens and it did the same thing. So anyways, I am, um, you guys know I ran out of my L to MD UV physical tinted sunscreen that I always use and love over my sunscreens. This is my, my tinted sunscreen that I had been using. But, so that's the UV physical, and it is SPF 41, but I got the UV elements here that I tried uh, this morning, and I really like it. It feels very similar to the UV physical. This one's SPF 44, but I mean, that's like, that's like fractions of a, like, nanometer of difference, honestly. It makes no, no difference. No difference, honestly. Um, the fact that they even put these weird SPF labeling things on here is just an, a rant for another another day. I talked about it in my sunscreen Q and A, um, so if you missed that, check it out. But this one I really like. It's a little bit darker of a tint. Somebody was asking me like if I've ever tried this one. This is the first time I've ever tried this uh, UV Elements one. I really like it, but as far as the tint, that person I think did ask me, is this more yellow? And I would say, yeah, it is a little more yellow. Um, has some more yellowish tones. What's a, um, of the mineral, of the BB creams that you guys, um, are using, which ones are you using and liking? Um, because so far I feel like Ilta is really the only foolproof one I've found because it's fragrance-free and blends so easily, but anyways, that is that. So yeah, I am uh, getting some work done and I'm about to brew up some rosehip tea and I'm gonna spice it up. I have some Celestial Seasonings uh, apple tea, so I think I'm gonna make a little hybrid tea today um, to brew up and have later for a little iced tea. The house one of the sounds. I said I'm on this kick of fall sense and what have you because I'm in denial of the heat. But anyways, I'm about to brew up my rose hips. You guys are asking where I get the, um, the rose hips from. They're this company, Frontier Co-op. I get them on Vitacost, but this is what they look like. The hips. So I basically just take like a mason jar and like, uh, we're gonna do like three tablespoons and then I'm getting zesty today. I've never done this addition before. But yeah, it's this Frontier Co-op uh, company and um, basically I just add three tablespoons of them roughly and then I'm gonna come in with this Celestial Seasoning Cinnamon Apple Spice Tea. Um, <laughs> from Boulder, Colorado. Fun fact, I have been to the Celestial Seasonings Tea uh, Factory and taken a tour. It's quite a fun thing to do if you ever visit Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado is beautiful. And I'm gonna get, uh, I think I'm gonna do two bags in there. And I did two bags, and so now I'm just gonna add, I don't know, four cups of boiling water. Three cups, excuse me. 
Mmm, smells good. And yeah, I think I'm gonna whip up some uh, brunch here right quick. I was thinking of making um, some pancakes this morning, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that now and I'll show you guys how I do it. get two pancakes that are the same size or like I did here one bigger one and one baby one but they cook up really nicely um, and it's just got one scoop of the Vitacost pea protein in it but you could probably use any uh, protein powder you wanted and then um, a quarter of a cup of uh, that Bob's Red Mill uh, quick cook uh, steel cut oats that I'm not enjoying so much and a little bit of flaxseed meal into the batter as well to add as add a thickener and a little bit of applesauce cinnamon, ginger, and then just almond milk, and it made pancake batter. When, then I just cook it on a skillet on low heat, um, and flip, and serve, and top. Um, so I have it topped with a little bit of the natural peanut butter, some applesauce, some of the this um, powdered peanut butter that I get from Vitacost. Um, and then some of this powdered coconut milk that I also get from Vitacost, as well as some shelled hemp seeds for a little added protein. So, and then I've got my coffee here and my water. So, oh, and this is my, uh, my dusting spoon here that I, uh, pilfered from, uh, Tutti Fruity. I just love these sweet little spoons. I just wash them uh, by hand in a little soapy water and just, they're, they're so useful. So, uh, you know, grab a few of them and look how cute with the little fruit on the back. So. Hey guys, so it is uh, the end of the day. I'm just finishing up some meetings at work with uh, some students that I'm working on a research project with that is going well. And those pancakes this morning, guys, were delicious. Um, turning out to be a much better way to use those quick cook steel cut oats that I do not recommend buying the 80 servings worth from Costco. Um, unless you're, I don't know, in the six month, six to eight month age bracket and you're introducing solids for the first time, it's like eating some kind of baby food cereal. It's terrible. Um, but blended in uh, the Ninja, it turns it into a flour that is somewhat useful. So I'm enjoying that. And I'm on my way to Ulta right now. So I'll take you guys along. But, oh, I've got my uh, rose hip apple cinnamon uh, celestial seasonings tea here. That little bear had better get his butt in gear because this is on another planet celestial season right here, guys. I got it in, uh, somebody suggested I call her Babs and I like that one. We'll call her Babs. This is Bubba's sister, the, um, the shimmery uh, clone, but it's just a splash of the uh, tea and, and ice water. Not mad at how that turned out. Antioxidized. 
Have you guys tried this? I came over here to Ulta because I, um, of all the things that I got in my beauty sesh box, like, I'm lo loving a ton of stuff, but one of the things that I really love is the Skin Food Shea Butter Body Cream. I'm still using it and, like, totally love it. Um, but as far as I can tell, it, like, no longer exists, so... Um, I'm over here at the Asian beauty section because they carry skin food here at Ulta and um, this bitter green cleansing gel really intrigues me. Um, it's celery, broccoli, cabbage. Sounds like something I would eat, let's be honest guys. Um, it does have a ton of fragrance like most of the Korean skincare stuff, but you know it's a face wash so not meant to be left on the skin and it's got ceramides in it so I'm kind of intrigued by this. I want to try it. Have you guys tried this? This looks fun. How much is it? 18 bucks. It's kind of pricey, but I'm intrigued by it. I do caution you guys against putting pineapple on your face. It has bromelain in it. Not a good idea. Um, does this even actually have pineapple on it? Is the it has apple fruit. Yeah, it does have pineapple fruit extra. Not good food. Not good for the skin. <laughs> Ooh, how about this black sugar perfect? Sounds like it might be a little irritating. Mostly just fragrance. The bitter greens one intrigues me though. Because it's got ceramides in it. <laughs> There's no role for these egg white masks, like cleaning pores. This is just totally a cosmetic thing that they're trying to sell you. I don't care if it's, like, whatever. Strawberry. I literally want to eat all this stuff. <laughs> Not put it on my face. <laughs> Okay, a lot of you all asked me about honey, honey masks. Um, honey is good on a, like, ulcer on a wound because it's antibacterial, but it's not really indicated as a face treatment for acne. Um, nobody's really looked at it in that manner. But a lot of you guys seem to be into putting honey on your face. I don't know. Definitely not vegan. Well guys, I uh, swung in there because I had a, a good coupon, so I picked up some more of my CeraVe PM uh, so that I don't ever run out again because I'm on my replacement currently. So um, I had a $5 coupon um, for Ulta, so happy about that. Um, so yeah, comment below if any of you guys have used any of the skin food products. I like them so far. Um, they're fun, but I mean, I don't honestly think, I mean, it's cosmetics, guys. It's not like actual, like, skincare. Anyways, I am on my way home, long day, and I'm going to go to the gym, and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, so FYI, this is the, um, Skin Food, uh, Intense Rich Shea Butter that I, uh, wanted to scope out in, on Ulta. I can't find it anywhere online, because I was trying to read... The ingredients in it uh, find the ingredients and I really just can't find them anywhere but uh, you know on the label it says it's got oat extract shea butter extract and ceramides in it so I really like this one and I would be curious to try that um, funny uh, face wash that I saw in there the, the veggie one um, but I tried out tonight uh, because many people have been asking me about this this is the face shops rice water bright light cleansing oil here can you guys see it um, this is marketed for individuals with, uh, you know, more oily to, to combination skin um, as being a, an oil-based cleanser. And so I tried it tonight, and it was pretty nice. Um, and it uh, contains jojoba oil and as well as uh, rice bran extract, which if you remember from my um, Asian skincare ingredient Q&A, we talked about how rice bran extract, you know, has been shown to have high levels of like antioxidants and things like that and can, you know, impart a brightening effect. So that's the, the nomenclature of brightening here. And I, I know that that's really a big, a big uh, audience in uh, the Asian skincare market, I guess, is people wanting 
brightening products. Um, this comes from Korea, and it um, so it was okay. You know, it did a, it, it was pretty nice. It's also got some glycerin in it, uh, triglycerides, some you know just kind of vegetable oil emollient type components to it. And um, but I will say it has a lot of fragrance in it, whereas my friend Hadalabo does not. So far, this is one of my favorites, um, the Hadalabo cleansing oil. Um, so, you know, there's that. It's heavily fragranced, whereas this one doesn't seem to be. Um, and the Face Shop's rice water one uh, is a little drier going on. So I found that I had to rub a little bit more. Um, it didn't, you know, smoothly kind of melt off the makeup. Uh, the tinted sunscreen and the um, mascara as well. So I think you might need a little bit more massaging, which is sort of like the whole point of this is to not to have to rub the face. So, you know, there's that. But, um, you know, it does say uh, to follow it up with a foam cleanser, which I encourage you guys to do. Oils, regardless of what they are, should not be uh, left on the face. So I guess this is Korea versus... Japan versus Korea. I know I misspoke about those Asian snacks a few vlogs back, and I, I sincerely apologize for that. I, um, I I was under the impression they were Japanese, but thank you guys for correcting me. They were Korean. Um, and so they, um, <laughs> I, I'm liking the Japanese one a little better, simply because it doesn't contain the high levels of fragrance, and it just seems a little more effective. Um, but let me know, you guys who are using this and like it, um, I'll use it up. There's not a whole lot in this tube. Um, you guys who are using this and, and, and liking it, do you see a skin brightening effect with continued use? I'd be curious to know uh, if the rice bran component really does its thing. So stay tuned, guys. Maybe I will start to get a little brighter. I just wanted to update you guys on that. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm going to conclude it here. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!